People who were close to Greg Cody say it was always fun to be around. Always wanted to make people laugh, even if it wasn't on purpose. Greg just, he didn't know the difference between good radio and bad radio. And that's what would get him in trouble sometimes. Hold on, nobody knows what you're talking about. I just, I told him to be careful. They don't want to know what happened back in your day. Dan Lebatard's desire to do the show has been killed. Greg, we know what you did. Dan couldn't handle one more mention of Greg's Lobos, went ahead, asked Devontae Freeman about the team banquet. Hey, I'm innocent. Do you want to get a phone call? No. When I heard of what, what now? When you were the, uh, when you'd won the most valuable Lobo award. We now know the, uh, the full details of uh, what happened during that fateful show. Not only is uh, Mr. Cody guilty of this uh, heinous crime, but he did not act alone, instead coercing his impressionable co-host as an accomplice. Look, buddy, we want to help you out, all right? All you got to do is tell us what we want to hear. What else happened during the show? Nothing. Stu, you're lying to me. You're lying. And if you're lying, we can't help you out. Tell us what happened with the Lobo mates. He wanted Devontae Freeman to say he put a Lobo man under his pillow and dream big. You are probably the most dangerous individual ever to set foot in this studio. 